Hey GTI fans, welcome back to another episode of Imperium Galactic Survival. This is your host Zlot, and I'm here today on the GTI server in Alpha 7. Uh, currently, we are on the planet Dirt. Yes, it's called Dirt. Okay, because it is. And right now it's having a little bit of a tizzy. Last episode you saw me start on the base. Well, I finished it off and f did even more than that because so as you can see I put in the the basic scanners um, lots of cargo we've got toilet shower some fridges down here armor locker and an elevator upstairs repair courtesy O2 station to fill up if you need to and three advanced constructors, one for building, one for fuel, and the other one for ammo. I also made a generator room. So <clears throat> this has, this is actually all sealed in here. As you can see, the radiation is at zero and it's 22 degrees. Uh, got the, so this is just a little side room off the building. I put all the, the noisy and gen, and dangerous stuff in here so the furnace um, I put in and it's already like churned up a whole bunch of ore for me because I went out and mined a whole bunch of meteorites with the with the HV um, and we've got our wet generators here generating hydrogen oxygen and water and they've been doing that for a while now I'll take you upstairs Upstairs is our garden, and I just I just picked it, and so you can see it's a pretty extensive garden. I'll just take you through it. Oh, it needs needs more picking in areas. Anyway, I'm not going to worry about that right now. I'm I'm good to go. Uh, so never going to run out of food. Tons of canned vegetables at this point. <clears throat> Lots of cava. You can see I've got like 112 in my. Uh, in my uh, action bar. So I'm also toting around the the enhanced minigun because I decided to make a bunch of ammo for it so I might as well use it, right? So, oh and then I can keep going up to the roof. So there's nothing up here but we can park SVs or something up here. Okay. You can see the temperature out is, is pretty cooking. But let's go back down into the air condition. And so I've got a ton, a ton, a ton of food right now. Um, it's probably kind of scattered throughout. Oh, yeah, empty one. Well, you can see on me right now, I've got 60 cans and a whole bunch of texture plant protein to go adventuring with. I'm leaving a bunch of food behind, and I, I think I even have. Um, yeah, so I'm <laughs> I've got a ton, a ton, a ton of food. I am not going to go hungry. Well, I know I said I wanted to go out and explore with the SV and, and do some warps with the SV to maybe the local, the, the close by area. And what I was talking about was was there's these couple of unknown sectors so unknown sector I could warp to with an SV I can also warp to Alpha Centauri and that has a whole bunch of play fields in it uh, but I think what I want to do is I never actually followed up with the quest chains so I have some left over that I I need to actually go back to Akua to actually do. So this Clans of Akua, I think I need to go to Akua. Or it might be easier to do anyway. I got Green Eating Akua, Akua Berries. I could probably get that somewhere else just by picking it at a farm or something. Growing it myself. I don't. I didn't actually have any to grow, so... Eh, whatever. Uh, elemental Enemy, so... 
I guess I could have got the desert golem here, but I gotta go back to Ninges and Masbrunt for those. Um, <clears throat> so Huntsman Akua is done. That was the slime triceratops. So I was able to complete those, but I gotta go back for the clans. I gotta go back for. We can get the delicious green eating done. Um, I've, so I've done the Not Afraid of the Dark, and we're on the Not Afraid of the Dark Omicron, but I never did the Titan Wreck, so find, find special POI, so I gotta go back to Akua for that. Uh, so yeah, on the Abina Mine, so you know what, and also there's got to go back to a cool moon because I got to destroy Ghost Rider Base, so either on a cool moon or Omicron moon. But this will lead to other Omicron stuff that we can go to Omicron after to do the Cap Quest chain. So I think that's what I want to do. I want to head back to Akua, um, complete the Akua quest, smash some more civilian POIs while we're there. And I'm going to show you, I was a little busy when, so I'm just going to shut this down. I'm going to let it continuing to work on uh, making stuff right now. So right now it's working on, is it ammo? No, I've made the ammo. Uh, but you can see I've got a ton of resources because I, I, I went crazy and just went asteroid mining, like uh, uh, meteorite mining on the planet here like crazy and just just got lots of stuff so uh, I didn't take anything out of the CV in the way of resources really I just went around and stockpiled the base all on its own okay so I should shut the door so critters don't get in I guess so we'll do that and so yeah what I want to do is I want to fly back to Akua so that's what we're gonna do we're gonna do that. I know it sounds it sounds crazy, but I should have finished off everything while I was there properly. Uh, let's put some food away here. Put all this stuff in there so it doesn't spoil. And this will probably go in the SV or the HV. So I parked the SV up on the roof again and I got the HV in. Oh, I should show you what I did. You can see that it now has um, freaking lasers attached. It's got freaking lasers, yes. Uh, and what's that up on the top? It's not a, it's not a mining drill. It is the new multi turret. So let's check it out. So this is the multi turret. Um, let's actually access it. You need to know. Okay, so I got to do it from a passenger seat. Okay, and oh, come on, get in. <laughs> And, well, I can do it from the cockpit, too, I'm pretty sure. Let's just fire it up. And I think I want to take it outside, just in case. I don't really want to multi-tool any of my stuff. Although, well, hang on. Let's, I think I can repair, too, with it. So let's take a look. So there's the multi-turret. And activate it. And you can see it can't auto anything, so you gotta actually go in it. Now, if I right click, it gives me disassemble, deconstruct, and repair. So I can't upgrade with it, but I can disassemble, deconstruct, and repair. Okay, so that could be quite functional. Okay, so I don't wanna really use it right now. So it's. That's as far as I can aim down. Huh. Well, that could be a bit of a problem. Okay. Well. Interesting. That's as far as I can aim down. Well, that's... Uh, I'm not sure how useful that's going to be. But I really want to give it a try and see. You know, maybe like have it down on the ground and in the middle of a POI and multi-tool it down. So, 
I want to give that a try and see what it's like. We can also make one for the CV too, which will, uh, I think it's probably only going to be usable on in space. So it's only going to be usable for POIs in space. Eh. I think I want to try the HV one first. So that's what we're going to do. Just going to shut this off and jump out. Yeah, so, oh here, we can uh, close the door, yeah. Okay. So that's all locked down and docked. My SV up, up top is all docked. We've got food, we've got a ton of energy, we've got ammo. Uh, you know what? Time to go adventuring. Time to go adventuring. Let's do this. So let's fire this up. Oops, it was fired up. Let's fire it up again. <laughs> <coughs> okay. Uh, turn the engines on. We don't. Well, we'll need the turrets on. We'll need the oxygen on. And I'll make this my home spawn. Uh, get this all topped up. There we go. Full of everything. Here we go. Drills off, good enough. So, oh yeah, I put a drill on the CV. Because, of course, of course we want a drill on the CV. Every CV should have a drill. <coughs> super, super, super useful. One of the better things a CV can do is actually go mining. So we'll just get into orbit and warp out. I'm not gonna bother going mining at this point. I think I think I'm really good for resources. I want to go multi-tool down some POIs and add it into my factory and spawn the big uh, my big CV, my big combat sort of CV. It's not big, but it's it's definitely. It's better than this one. This is more of a starter CV. So let's take a look at the sector map. We need to get back to Akua. So we're gonna go through the asteroid field beta first. So let's do that. And it's down this way. And then we need to target Oscatoon. And that's over here. And we'll warp. Okay, next step is to get to well, we can either do it through the trading post. I haven't been there yet. That's 23, that's 22, and then that's gonna be short. So let's do, let's do this one. Let's do trading post. Um, do I actually have the, no, I don't. Okay, so let's fill that. And we'll make that head towards there, get up to speed, and warp. Okay, so trading post, what does the trading post have? Sathium and a POI. We could go check out the POI later, I guess. I don't know. Uh, we don't need to right now. I wanna head, head to Akua and we're almost there. So let's go there, lock that in. And head to Akua. Okay. Oh, look at that ring. That's pretty cool. It's like a donut. There's the moon right there. So, there's, we have a couple of options. We can also try getting more pentaxid while we're here uh, on the moon if we I think 
there was still some to get. I think there was. What is on the moon? I mean, meteorite depletion is pentaxid. So if we if we mine stuff on the moon, eventually pentaxid is going to fall. Uh, but let's get our other quest done. So in order to do that, we got to go to Akua itself. I'm just going to take the CV right there. I don't really care that there's an active drone base because the CV can protect itself from drones, no problem. We'll just keep the turrets active and loaded. So once I get the quest done here, we'll head off to Omicron because there's some more stuff to do on Omicron, which will lead to Masperon. And I'm going to have to get Pentaxid on the way too. I mean, I've got 500 right now, but it's not going to, it's not going to last very long. I need to get more. So I, what I should have done is stop by Ninges and went around and picked some, but you know, I might have to head back there or go to another snow planet. I'm not sure, but uh, we'll see. So we'll we'll come down on top of uh, water there. I think that way we're less likely to come down on top of a base, right? down there. Oh, look at the, the trees twisting. So there's some POIs there. So there's a civilian POI and a attack POI. Okay. And some bases down there. So those look like player bases. Yep. With spawning pads. Okay. So I think I've already seen these ones before. Home sweet home, yeah. Okay. So, pretty cool. He's got a cool design here. Some turrets. He's got a hover vessel in there by the look of it. Nice. Nice. Okay, so let's find a place to park. Let's find a place to park. I think I'll just park down over by the water here, because... Oh, what's going on? Ah, base attack drones. <laughs> That's what's going on. Yep. That's okay. Okay, so let's. Hmm, that means they're going to be coming across me all the time. There's another POI up there, too. 
Should I just park beside this POI? I think this is a, uh, yeah, it's a civilian POI. Just make sure my turret starting to start freaking out. So there's some stuff to loot there. Okay, so that looks pretty good. There's another POI over there, or is that the... Oh, that's T.S. Akua? Okay, okay. So... And there's another POI over there. That looks like just residential. Yeah. Okay, so we could go park over by the T.S. Akua and take the HV, I think. Let's do that. That way we're not shooting up the base attack drones. Oh nice, and here's the edge of the world here anyway, so... Or the uh, border. <coughs> oh! S sorry about that, I just... sneezed and um... Yeah. So, I guess I could just... <laughs> what if I should park up there? No, it'll be a pain to get the HV back in. Looks like some flat land over here. Let's just take it over here and park. Some residences over there. Yeah, okay. So... How's this looking? We can just move over a little bit. I don't care if I crush that tree. And then that way we can come right down. Really close to the... Uh... There we go. There we go. Let's shut the engines off. Okay, so I want to double check the turrets just to make sure they're set correctly. Okay, what do they do? Where are they? Turret, there they are. Okay, so cannon turret is alien, warp drive turret mounted. Okay, so that's good. Um, cannon, good. I just don't want them shooting at predators for the most part. That's good, and that's good, and that's good, okay. So drones they shoot at, but, and aliens, and ships, alien ships, but, but not critters. I don't want them sh wasting all my ammo on critters. Okay, so let's get out. So here we are, back on Akua. We're not actually level here, but that's okay, I don't really care. So we gotta collect Akua berries. We gotta go around and do stuff. I think we need to take the, take the HV to do that because we're going to go visit some uh, some civilian POIs. I want to try and get some better armor and some, some more weapon kits because I don't really have any. Okay, so what do we make sure I'm not going in there with a full HV full of crap? No, we just... Um, that's its minigun turret for the top. And harvest modules, if I need them, they can be handy for getting wood. And for if there's lots of rocks, they actually scoop up rocks really well. Although the uh, the drills now do too. You can set you can set the mounted drills to uh, to do rocks also. So Let's grab our stuff out of the fridge. We're just going to grab a little bit right now. We don't need a lot. I'll grab some of the texture plant protein for some healing. And we'll grab 10 of these. And then we've got lots of ammo. We'll put that in there. We don't need the pentaxid. So I should put that away. Because although... Yeah, let's just put that in here for now. Okay. Uh, I'm not going to need the Eva. 
So what do we got in the way? And that's the other thing too. I don't think I have a ton of boosts. So I've got a couple more EVAs. Uh, so I've got a mobility boost or a jetpack boost. I think the mobility boost. So I'm going to get rid of my EVA boost. I'll put that in there. I'll just, I'll keep that on me just in case if I get too cold or something for some reason. But I mean, I should be able to go minus 46 to 81. I, I can't see it getting too cold on Akua for that. But anyway, I've got spares if I lose it, so I'm not too worried. I'd like to find another multi-boost too. So let's get going. No more babble. Um, we could check out the trading station really quick. Maybe there's some berries to pick. I don't think there's any. I don't think there's a farm up here though. Although I could be, I could be wrong. So let's go upstairs. And yeah, well, we could go to the trading station. Let's go to the teleport to the trading station, station in space. So that's pretty cool because I think there is stuff to. Oh, yeah, there we go. Hey, look at this. This is Ahax fruit. That, that, that that and berries there we go okay so i finished that one so green eating omicron cactus oh look at that space oranges <laughs> fruit derp a derp i could have had most of it collect done if i had just not picked those <sighs> okay let's change to something else then so there we go we got that done and we're going to switch to, we can do the Dinner for Two, Clans of Akua. I think we should do the Clans of Akua. Let's activate that. So we've got to visit a Talon settlement. Okay. And did we get gold from it? Yeah, we did. Let's put that in there. Nice. Okay. Good. Really, there's nothing here that... that really interests me. I mean, everything's too expensive for the most part. Medium armor, <laughs> 75,000. Fifteen and 10,000 for boosts. Ingots. You can get cobalt ingots. Eh. Got, got 7,900, almost 8,000 credits, but there's nothing here Automatic car for 50,000. Yeah, K2 drill for 5,000. Bunch of drill charges. So, so viable if you run, if you have nothing. Uh, it's too bad that you can't get an emergency constructor, survival constructor. That should be something you should be able to buy. So that if you have nothing and you just have a bunch of credits, you can go buy a constructor and a drill and some charges and, and rebuild your life. Well, okay, there's, there's nothing really here. There's nothing really here. I should just, I just, I'll head back. Let's head back to the planet. Eventually, there we go. <laughs> okay, uh, well, let's just. Oh, which one was I in again? So, if I'm facing that direction, it must be in there. This one? Yeah. Visit Talon Settlement. Well, I think it's time for the HV. Oh, let's clean up my uh, inventory here. 
go into the fridge. I only got a got a tiny little fridge in this on the CV. It's kind of funny. Uh, put that in there. We'll eat that. Uh, we'll eat that. And that. And that. Put that in there. I will stick that in there for now. I know. I know it doesn't need to go in there, but. <clears throat> Okay, so let's check this planet out. Let's uh, let's put these bullets in here. Okay, okay. Let's see what it's got to offer. So there's the residences over here. Let's go check that out. Transport hub. I think that's also a yeah, that's a residential POI too. Nice. Okay. Or civilian, I should say. Okay. Um, well, let's just let's just bulldoze our way in here. Raise my hover height. <laughs> Jump the curb a bit. Thanks, guys. Here we go. Lower it down. Okay. Uh, I'm just going to keep it running because... Let's see. I can turn the engines off and that'll give me more... Really? Nothing? Are you kidding me? How about the lights? A minute? Uh, signals? No? Wow, it's the, it, it's the drills. They just suck the juice. It's really harsh. You can't turn them off either. Well, I want the turrets going. So let's double check our turrets on this to make sure that they are also set correctly. Other faction alien turret mounted windward thruster Okay, I'm not firing at generators, good. Not firing at Jennies, good, good. The reason I don't want to fire at generators, I'd sit here and pepper a building, a, a civilian POI until I got to the generator. So I, I don't want to bother. So we can jump out here. We're on the ground. Let's get out and loot this POI. So it's just a civilian POI. It won't have much, but it might have some weapon kits and armor if we're lucky. And I am going to take pretty much everything because I can dump it into my factory if I start running out of uh, inventory space. So we'll just, like I say, take everything. I'm taking everything. a little more difficult to get to. Let's come around the back and get this here. Okay, excellent. And then I'll just dump this off as I go. So I'm just going to use the cargo boxes for now. Uh, we know I already had those in there, so what I'll do is because I just want to see how much loot we get. Okay. So that's the first little bit there checked out. So there's really not much at this place. There's like four residences and then a power station and really that's it. But we'll take what we can. They've got medicine, they've got food. Oh, milk, I, I needed that, I needed that. I can actually uh, make pizza now. Sweet, because that'll finish off a another quest or mission solo mission 
All I need to do is make pizza. Oh nice, 10 bandits. Wow, that's actually quite a score. Come on, armor. No, a boost. It's not really what I wanted, but... Lots of food. And, oh good, okay. So, we got some, some uh, medicine and food. And really, that's probably all we're going to get right here. Did I already check this? Nope. Okay. Oh, cheese. Oh, God, I don't even need the uh, milk. Okay. So we'll bring that back. Let's jump in here. And go into our fridges. So we'll put this stuff in the fridge. Nope, don't need that in the fridge. That, 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 and that. We can put that on us. Uh, and I guess that can go in cargo boxes. Where did the needle? There it is. Okay, so we've got... Oh, hold on. That's fine. That's fine. Okay. Okay, so right now... We need to turn the hover jets back on, and <clears throat> we're gonna we're gonna pop the core on this place now. I know where the core is, so we'll just get out of here, okay? Okay, so it used to be underneath the generator there. So we'll we'll take a we'll take a look. We'll see if that's where they still put it. So whoa 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 whoa. Drop my hover height a bit here. There we go. There's the car right there. Okay. There we go. And so now I should be able to use this multi tool, right? The 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 turret. So let's try. Let's see. Okay, so I'm so I need to sink down really low. And let's jump in it and see what we can do. Now it might be too high up. I might I, I need to figure out how to do this. I might have to tip the might have to tip it. So let's see. So I want to disassemble. Oh wow. It's like zap one zap blocks. It's like super ultra fast. Okay. Wow. Uh, I like it. Okay, so look at all the steel plate I'm getting. Um, nice. Okay, so, oh, wow. <laughs> and pretty good range. Look at this range. <laughs> okay, so how do I... Wow. Okay. So for larger buildings, just look at this. Just like scooping these things. Oops. Got to be careful. Destabilizing the structure. And oh, I should have taken the fuel in O2 before I nuked it all. Oh well. Oh well, I'm all I'm all excited about this <laughs> multi-tool turret. <laughs> Look at this. This is actually pretty cool. And I'm able to do this with the in the security of my HV, which is which is a big bonus. Okay. 
Okay, so where does it, all this go? Stuff that stuff that falls, I can get with my. So I only have a couple minutes before it actually disintegrates. So if I jump out, and then I um, spawn my drone. Come on, spawn my drone. Oh, I can't. I'm in an enemy base. All right. Okay. So well, I'll risk it. I'll grab what was in there. No. Hydrogen. <laughs> A little bit of hydrogen. Yeah, not worth the risk. Whoa. The, uh, the multi, the maneuver boost has actually helped quite a bit there. Okay, so, um, <clears throat> okay, so that was actually going really fast. Uh, wow, okay. So if I went on an angle, like if I... Let's see, let's raise up here. I'm stuck. Darn it, I'm stuck. There we go. Let's, um... So if I, if I went like here... Meteorite incoming. Okay. Okay. Um... So if I went like this, see I'm on an angle now? I think I can... I think I should be able to, like, get to more stuff, right? So let's... Let's try it. Oops. Let's see. So if I leave it a bit on an angle, right? It's really noisy. Let's, uh... Let's turn my engines off. And then we'll go into the turret. Okay. Yeah, there we go. So, this, so it's also easier to break blocks because you're not as... You're not close enough to see where to... What's going to get destroyed if you... Uh, pop a block or not so that's the one disadvantage but so far I'm liking this I'm really liking it that's it's really awesome oops so if you're gonna if you're on a multiplayer server guys and there's regen at a POI. Leave a few blocks behind, that way it will regen. I'm not sure if it'll regen if there's zero blocks behind. So just leave some blocks behind, then it'll regen for the next person. It's a courtesy thing, especially on starter planets. Well, on any planet, really. Okay, let's try and get a little closer. Uh, actually, let's also see, where does this stuff go? Does it go into the cargo box? Oh, it does, look at that. Huh, isn't that interesting? That is very, very interesting. So I'm, I was able to pick up some blocks because I had it set to pick up blocks because it'll I'll get more return if, when I do pick up a whole block. Got plastic even, some window blocks. So if I dump all that onto me, and then I go into my blueprints, go to my factory right now, and start dumping all this in there. So we're at that, so it takes less time. De decreasing the time it takes to build. That's good. Yeah, yeah, getting up there. Okay, good. So we'll, uh... What? Why? Drones are on their way to attack my base? My CV? Eh, it can take care of itself. Same with my HV. Drones aren't going to be able to do squat against me at this point. Now watch me die. <sighs> yeah. Okay. Let's go turn on my engines, and we'll get a little closer. 
I think what we would want is um, to be on an angle, I guess, or like pitched like that. Yeah, let's do that. So we'll sink down a bit here. And then we'll get into our turret. I'm just going to shut the engine off really quick. Do a quick fill all. <coughs> and then we'll get into the turret. Okay. And we'll just multi tool this really fast here. So obviously the multi-tool turret also can cause some jitters, as you saw, just like uh, drills can do that on an HV. That was interesting. Okay. Uh, and it's about the max range there. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Oh. Let's get closer then. We'll turn our engines back on. We'll come over here. And <clears throat> we'll just turn our engines off again and go into our turret and wow this is super fast this is super duper fast Yeah, this is this is Uber. This is really good. I'm liking this multi-tool turret. So we can build one for the CV too. I'm just not quite sure how useful that's going to be yet. I think it'll be something good to make and then pop off, exchange that with the drill turret for when uh, I want to multi-tool down a space POI. You know, like or or like a a carrier or something, a drone carrier or something. Okay, so let's jump out and get a little closer. Okay, so we'll just get closer here. And come on. There we go. Now let's see if I can... sure if we can actually get much now without it being on an angle but let's see huh? oh did I just zap my own ship are you kidding me <laughs> no I hope not That would be, um, um, that'd be interesting if you could zap your own ship. Okay, I almost got everything of value out of this dwelling. <laughs> See, I don't think I'm zapping my own ship. I think it's getting all cranky with me when I try. So, that's good. Whoa. Good thing I wasn't wearing 3D glasses. 
Come on. Oh, buddy, shut up. <laughs> Come on. Give me, give me, give me all your bits. Ah, not much left of this place now. Yeah. You know what? Good enough. I don't need any more. <clears throat> okay. So let's take a look at our cargo box and dump all that stuff into here and then we go into my blueprints and we dump it into there good 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 so we're getting there okay We're getting there. Well, I would say that was really effective. Um, it, you know, didn't use up any charges, just just juice from the HV. Huh, I, I, I like it. I like it. Okay. So, transport hub. Here we come. So what's the transport hub? Oh, this thing. Okay, so this thing's huge. It'll have tons of stuff. Wow, we'll get we'll get a lot of stuff out of here. So let's um let's raise this up so that I can jump down onto here. There we go. Perfect. And we'll lower this down. Okay. Oh, uh, there's still more in here, isn't there? Yeah, so let's get the rest of that out and put that into the blueprint factory. And no more wood needed. Nope. Deco, sure. And you can see as we put blocks in and that it reduces the time more... Uh, more significantly. We're getting there. We're getting there. We're getting there. So that was a good shot in the arm uh, taking down that POI. That was a lot of material. This one, on the other hand, is even more. This one should be excellent. So I'm just going to jump out. Hey, buddy, how's it going? We're don't mind me, I'm just going to take all your guys' stuff and then disassemble all your houses and take that too. Nothing to see. So we'll go around and get all the goodies first. Since I can't drone it up, I got to I got to loot this whole place by foot. So, let's keep putting stuff in the cargo box. This is all loot. So I can put that, I can smelt it and that can all go into the factory too for the most part. But we'll, we'll take a look at our loot. That's, um, that's not multi-tooled stuff, that's just loot. So let's, let's loot. And nice. Some more, and, oh, and a multi-boost. Very nice. So that'll give me four multi-boosts. We'll just take it all for now. We'll just take, oh, there we go, some kits. There we go, sniper and pistol. Um, and that stuff, we'll just take it. Oh, come on. Just take it. There we go. And what about over here? We'll just take it. That's fine. Okay. Okay. 
What's in here? Oh, got some more stuff. We'll take it. Okay, let's go see what. Uh, let's go see what the downstairs cantina has for us. And it's just gonna have stuff in here, so we'll just. You know what? I'll just eat this. And yeah, close enough. I'll eat that. Okay. Okay, I'll mul I'll come back and multi-tool these guys later with the with the HV. So let's um put our stuff in the cargo box. So we want to put that, 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 that. And actually I kinda wanna swap that out. So, okay, the jitter thing is driving me nuts. Stop it, stop it, stop it. Let's go into the armor locker. We've got equipment. Where's my equipment? Uh, did I not put an armor locker in here? Are you kidding me? Put an armor locker in? Damn! I don't have an armor locker on this thing. Huh. Okay, well. Um, I, I'm a little shocked and dismayed, to tell you the truth. That's pretty sad. Let's put this away. Just throw it in the fridge for now. So it doesn't spoil. And I guess we're going to put that in the other fridge. It's a great thing about having two fridges. For looting, it's actually really good. Okay, so now let's continue on. <coughs> over this way. Oh, come on. Come on. Stupid thing. We'll continue over this way and we'll go up to that one there. So we want to go over to here. And then Do we... So we did that. We'll come over to here. There's more loot up there. Should I go up to there and loot that? Or should I start doing these? Let's start doing these. People's apartments. We'll just steal their food. I think that's all I can take from here. Yeah. Yeah, I gotta smash the core to get to uh, other areas. Okay, so. Yeah, all we're gonna get is food out of those. So let's, let's just grab this stuff here. I don't need all the food either. stuff. Good. And we'll go put it in the hover box. Okay. And we'll just, we'll throw that in there for now too. So, so oh, um, no, we'll do stuff with that. And okay, that's full. So let's move to the next one. Although I could probably let's let's hang on. Yeah. So just make sure that you stack stuff. Oops. And fridge. No stacking. And there we go. Okay. So realistically.
I don't really care if food spoils here. I got so much food, it's not an issue. I think I need to just pop the core and start multi-tooling. And go into, well, I want to go loot those bedrooms for their lockboxes, right? So, just trying to remember where the core is on these. Okay, I remember now. I remember where the core is on this particular settlement. Okay, so it's usually one of the bottom blocks in this tower. So I'm just going to shoot it out. Uh, or, you know, zap it with laser drills that do not... There it is, right there. Like I said. There it goes. Okay. So now, we should be able to just go like here and like start multi-tooling, right? Right? Or should I go up higher and start multi-tooling first? Let's do that. Let's go up higher first. Let's try and get up on one of the platforms like we were before. So let's come around and go to here. Can we get up onto the roof? Come on. Let me up onto the roof. Come on. You can do it. Come on. No? No? Is it not? No. Okay. Okay, well, I'll, I'll hover, and then we'll jump into the multi-turret. That's really cool. That is cool. That, I love it. Now, I didn't want to, don't really want to take those out yet. So, what I want to do is, I'm just going to... Lower the hover height. And then jump out. And I heard a raptor, so we're going to have a raptor get all pissed off at us. Right there. And of course I didn't have my weapon loaded, you know, so. Because I was derping. I, where are you, Raptor? Okay, stop the jittery video, please. Thank you. Can't see it. I can't see it. Is it like below me? I just don't know. Okay, I'm not going to worry about that right now. I'm going to go loot these residences. And, okay, that's not residence. This is residence over here. Okay, so let's switch to my multi-tool. And I'm going to do... Disassemble. Okay. Just taking the good stuff. I just want to get to these. Ugh, really? <sighs> Come on, armor. I need more armor. Need armor. There's that one down there, so let's go down. Okay. And I'll take it, why not? I don't care. 
Ugh, the uh, wildlife is really loud. Okay, T2 drill, I'll take it. Everything wears out eventually, so it'll come in handy. Uh, okay, so let's check out these. And okay, so these are just farm plots. Let's take them. Oh wow, it's giving me the whole plot. I'm getting lucky there. That's awesome. Nice. Nice, nice, nice. Okay. Okay. Is that a, like a plant monster right there? No, it is. Well, does he... I have no idea if I hit him or not. I would say I didn't kill him. There we go. Got him. Got him. Come on. What's he got? Sprouts. Don't really need it. Don't need it. Let's, uh... Let's keep disassembling this place. At least get the core goodies. Oops. <laughs> That's funny. So these grow plots. These are awesome. Oops. Whoa. Uh, whoa. <laughs> that scared the bejesus out of me and the whole building just collapsed. <sighs> And we'll go over here <laughs> on that note. And jeepers. Woo! That was freaky. Whoops. Oh man, your shop did it too, lady. Really? You guys don't build stuff very well, do you? Take out grow plots and your building falls down? <laughs> that's that's really kind of pathetic. Okay, so we've done we've done that one cuz the door is zapped off. Uh what do we lack on so we need to actually you know what? I'm going to put this stuff into the blueprint factory. We'll just dump all this in there. Hell yeah. And no. they can't contribute. Yeah, why not? The drill too. <laughs> I've already... I can make them. I don't care. It's taking up space right now. Taking up space. So we're... We're getting there. We're getting there. We're getting there. Yep. 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 Okay. So, do I drop this stuff off? What else do I need to grab from here? What else is going to be really needy to... Oh, I need to go to those other apartments. Okay, let's go check those out. Okay, so, oops, let's turn the lights off there, because that's just obnoxious. Okay, get these, get that, that, and what do we got here? Oh, a T2, wow. 
That's not so bad of a troll loot. Like, T2 multi-tool is actually okay, because it's a little bit more rare ores to build, so it actually will go in the factory, no problem. And, yeah, I'll take that, why not? Here, I'll just eat that, then we'll eat that. No, okay. And we'll take that, and we'll zap that, and zap that, zap that. What's in there? Just more boosts. Meh. Meh. <sighs> okay. Boost that I don't really need. Okay, so I need to dump more stuff off. And we're probably running out of time here. Let me check the clock. Yeah, we're... I would say we're... We're probably at the end of this episode. So, let's just jump in here. Come on. No, not over. Come on. <laughs> uh, get in your HVZ lot. There we go. Oh, man. Video glitching. Let's just sit down. Come on. There we go. Get into the cockpit here and put this stuff away. And you know what? That's all going to go in the other one. You know, let's see. Can I grab any of this? I need to put all of this in my blueprints. So let's do that. Put stuff in blueprints. I've already got a T2. I don't need another one. It contributes good stuff okay so we'll go into the fridges and come on there we are just can go in there okay okay well this will go into cargo there we go. Oh, an armor boost. Well, that's pretty good. That's decent. That's not bad. That's not bad. I should probably put that on. I'll use that for when we go uh, smash an actual enemy POI. Well, guys, I'm going to off camera finish uh, looting this thing and multi-tooling it and putting, continuing to put stuff into the factory. We currently have... If I threw all the ingredients in right now, it would take four hours and 41 minutes. I want to multi-tool down this place, though, and throw all the parts in that I can. Um, that way that way, it won't take so long to spawn, and it won't take so much resources, too, right? So, so yeah. Uh, we're, we're, on, we're on our way to spawning this. It's just, it's just work now at this point. Well, guys, if you like this episode, like and subscribe. Next time, we're going to go out and probably take on an enemy POI and try and get more of this, see if I can find the Talon Settlement and get more of my missions done before we leave Akua. Because I want to get all the missions that I got to get done on Akua done before we head to Omicron. Well, guys, it was a blast. I didn't die. I am at 146 kills, one death, level 25 now. Uh, I've learned everything, so now it's just gathering resources and getting stuff and finishing. I want to do all the quests. Uh, and I think once we've done all the quests, I'll do a couple of the end game uh, instances, and that'll probably be it for the series at that point, uh, because it'll probably be Alpha 8 out by that point point anyway so because this is going to take me a long time to do these quests so next episode we'll keep working on it we'll keep plugging away we'll keep uh, trying to take over the galaxy okay guys you guys have an awesome day